over, keep them in all of their ways, to by all of their needs, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Put your hood on, baby. Be all right.
bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we do ask yeah, that you give us your attention as we provide a safety demonstration for you. Please review the safety card located at your seat and follow along as we review the safety features of this Boeing 737. Whenever the seatbelt sign is turned on, you should be seated with your seatbelt fastened tightly across your lap. To fasten, slide the flat metal in into the bubble and tighten by pulling the loose end of the strap with the bubble top of release. Please keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're seated, even when the seatbelt sign is off. This Boeing 737-900 is equipped with warranty. Well, are you ready? outside, okay? No, to me. I got you. Right outside? Yeah. yeah. I want to get, get it when we're getting ready to take off really, really fast. No, we're not. We don't show. Right now we are. But we're going to no, go. not
Okay, get up for one second, AJ. Why? Because I got to see where, where we got to go to. All right, y'all. So we in Atlanta. We just landed. How about uh, we had a perfect trip till we get to the, to the shuttle to go to your car, right? So, you know, I had my baby boy. He was riding on the... <laughs> on the uh, luggage, right? So I figured we'd take a little a little walk down and wait for the shuttle bus. So it get there and the lady tells me, what your ticket say? Where are you supposed to be? And I'm looking like, I mean, no hello, no. Ma'am, I think you at the wrong spot for, for pickups. You should be down at so-and-so. No, it was, um, did you read your ticket? Did you look on your ticket to see where you supposed to be? And I'm looking, so I just took my, my baby and walked down to the other end. I was just like, so insulted and my feelings was hurt. 1,000 feet, keep left to continue on I-75 North, I-85 North. I could not believe it. I'm like, you in customer service, and that's how you talk. Because I'm a tipper. I like to tip people. And so I was going to give her a tip, but you don't get anything Keep now. Continue on I-75 North. That's what I'm saying. You got to you gotta watch how you talk to people, because you never know. Who Continue got, on I-75 North for four miles. Who got money in their pocket that they want to give to someone? You just never know. You know what I mean? I mean, that just, that was not nice. She didn't have to talk to me like that. And and that walk wasn't that, it wasn't quick. You know, if you by yourself, yeah, but with a four-year-old, I mean, come on. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and share that with y'all, right? <laughs> and we, I had another incident when we was on the plane going. And you know how you're trying to find your seat? And so, you know, it was crowded. It was, we had a full flight going and coming. And so going, I was trying to get out the way because I got the bags and I got my grandson. And so I just kind of like got out the way so people can walk by. So unfortunately, I happened to go into a spot where it was someone's and she was like, um, the boy can't be next to the window. I'm honest. Again, I had to bite my tongue. Okay. No. How you just gonna talk to people like that? You, you, you the boy. The boy? Really? And yeah, of course she was white. Saying that. So, you know I felt some kind of way. I was just like, wow. What is going on with people? I, I don't get it. And I just finished bragging to my nephew about how friendly the people are here. 
you know what I mean? And I just finished telling him how our people, you know, African Americans, rally together and we like to network, you know, especially, you know, when we're trying to make that money. And, you know, I know I can't put everybody in that good basket because it's, it's got to be some to go in the bad basket, too. It just hurts my feelings when I run across those that's in the bad basket. Because <laughs> y'all know I'm sensitive. And I was just like, because I know me, if I say something, I'm going to cut you to the bone. And then you're going to be like, why she just, why she just go in on me like that? Because you went in on me because... I know where it come from because I look younger than I than I am, much younger than I am, and that's a blessing, you know. But man, come on, we got to do better. And I don't care what race you are, we just got to do better and talk to people with respect. Like talk to people the way you want to be talked to. Just some things that make me shake my head. All right, y'all. Well, I'm in this tunnel, so we getting ready to go to the mall because I got to pick up a phone case for my phone. And then we heading on back to North Carolina. And what? I will see y'all later. Racist. I th what? Racist. <laughs> Living up, living up, living up.